Alright, um, so what I'm going to teach right now is the tutorial on how to find the Audacity Freeware program, uh, how to download it and how to install it, and then also how to configure it so that it's the way that you want it to work. Now I have an older version of Audacity on here, but I'm going to download the most recent one. So the first thing that you can do is you can actually search for Audacity and it'll actually take you, it's the first result, is audacity.sourceforge.net and when I download it, I'll, this is what it looks like here, um, I will actually go to the download Audacity 1.3 point whatever beta version. I like the most recent beta ones because they're, you know, they have some features in it that the other ones don't have. Um, so I clicked on that link and then it says recommended download and there's a link right here that says Audacity Installer. It's a .exe file. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to save the file. And it's downloading right now. And it doesn't take very long if you have a fast internet connection. And now I'm going to the folder that has it actually contained in it. So I'm going to close Internet Explorer. Well, for me it's um, Firefox. So I'm going to double click on the .exe file, the installation file, and I'm going to hit run. And it's thinking for a second, and we're going to allow it to run on the system. We want it to be in English. We hit next. We pretend like we read it. We hit next. <laughs> we hit next. Uh, does it already exist? Would you like to install to that folder anyway? You say yes because I already have an older version. Yours, it won't have that little prompt. Create a desktop top icon, yes. Hit next. Install. And it's installing. And it takes a minute and you can see the progress bar is going across the screen. And we hit next, and we hit finish, and it says launch Audacity. Um, now what will happen is, is then Audacity will actually come up. And Audacity might not like me right now because I'm using uh, the USB microphone to record this video uh, in addition to installing it. And actually it's thinking... and this is what Audacity actually looks like and you have your stereotypical um, record that um, one of the first things that you'll notice though is sometimes it has what is called a latency issue and I'm actually gonna give it an example here I'm gonna generate a click track and it tells us how long that we want it to be 120 beats per second and all that it's tempo and what I'm actually gonna do is I have to correct the latency I'm going to do that right now. And when I hit stop, I'm going to actually get in real close and and focus in. I'm using this tool up here to the left. And actually what's really good about this is there's no latency. In other words, the beat here that was recorded and recorded through the microphone actually was recorded at the right moment in time. And when I actually hit play, there's no um, problem with the timing of everything. The, the beat matches up. But sometimes when you first get the program, there might be a latency issue where the thing is here. So I'm actually sliding it over using the sliding tool. And so when you play it back, it'll sound more like a delay. And what you have to do when, when that's the case is you will actually have to go File, um, I'm sorry, Edit, Preferences, and actually we're not in there. Edit, View, Toolbars.
playback uh, recording oh for some reason it remembers that my latency before was 174 milliseconds um, but what, what that tells the computer is if actually I go like here to here there is from this point in the selection start to the selection and this actually I have it by length um, that's how many how much latency there would be if I had counted that I would already corrected it in my old one but in order for you to move it up you actually have to know that that latency and it is under edit preferences and as I'm clicking through recording latency correction is negative 174 milliseconds what does that mean when I first got it it was right here and I had I had to experiment to figure out how many latency milliseconds it was and I did it by the length of the thing and then I hit negative 174 the reason you want to put negative 174 is negative values in latency correction move it to the left it's just like having um, a negative value on the x-axis in your algebra class so that's why you got to have the negative 174. If you were to put like positive 174, it'll actually move it um, the wrong direction. So negative moves it to the left. So that's how you fix the latency. That's how you download and set it up. Sometimes too, it's set up where like when you hit record, it will record a stereo track. You don't want it to when you want it to record, and you can set that up with uh, preferences. Um, recording you can um, I'm still learning the interface myself I, so I'm clicking through this um, when you record um, you can pick stereo or mono and, and in this case I have it set at mono you actually want it to be mono uh, when you're doing your own recording of instruments because um, when you're recording in mono you can make it a left channel you can make it a right channel you can have it pan um, you can edit it as its own channel rather than having two linked ones. So that's what you got to do for Audacity. That's how you. That's where you get it from the internet. That's how you download it and install it. And then to check for latency, that's how you do it.